country like we do. United Country. In our studios today is Travis Grossman, one of my heroes. He's also <laughs> the executive director of Theater Atchison and, and a guest I love to have on here. Travis, I'm I'm so impressed with with everything you're doing you know you do so much with the theater with the chamber um when whenever somebody says showtime i know it's you that's uh, it, great it, yeah it, good and so many of the things that you've done are just well fantastic. thank you louise so i appreciate it tell me what you're go what's going on now well currently we're just about to put our final show up for the season and uh that is um, coming I think up that's barefoot in the park. it is barefoot in the park <laughs> neil simon i just about said the other neil simon show that we have coming up next year but we're not there yet uh, Neil Simon, that opens up on the 29th and 30th and 31st of May, and then we run the following weekend there, first weekend in June, too, and we're looking forward to that, which is the 5th, 6th, and 7th of June, so uh, that's going to be exciting, but it's coming up quick. We're only about two weeks away. Yeah, on it just seems like you were in here yesterday. Right, it does feel that way. about this season right? and what was going on, and... Um, I'll tell you, I'm just so impressed with the quality of not just the theater that you're doing, the cooperation that you have. And um, I had an opportunity to go to the concert on Saturday night nice. with um, the Atchison High kids. Adrenaline and, Show Choir, yeah. Oh, my gosh. They did a great job, didn't they? Oh, they're, they're, they're phenomenal. Yeah. I said, that was the talent that we have in a community this mm -hmm. small. Absolutely. Somebody said, we're, be we're starting to become known as the theater capital of Northeast Kansas. Absolutely. And that's not a bad thing not to be Not a bad known thing at this. all, and it's about time. I've been pushing long and hard on that. And so. I, I know you yeah. have, and yeah. boy, I give you accolades for that thank all you. the time. Thank you, thank you. So uh, now, next year, can yes. we have a sneak peek? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> and what's going to be happening? Well, and season tickets will go on sale this last show, and they can start purchasing season tickets at, at any time now for next season. We open in October with a co-production with Benedictine College, Fiddler on the Roof. Oh. Oh, and that's a that's man. yada 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 <laughs> exactly. So there's a lot of great memorable songs in that uh, in that show. We're looking forward to it, and then we'll and we're going to put that up in October. Typically, we opened in September, but we're gonna I'm going to try something different this year, and put our shows in what I'd call the off months. And what I mean that is that a, a lot of the area theaters from St. Joe to Leavenworth. Uh, down to even Parkville and, and Atchison, a lot of our shows were at the same time. So February, ah. April, June, everybody has a show going on. Uh -huh. And even the high schools would start to fall in that, that mm -hmm. uh, schedule, too. Right. I'm going to try to do the in-between months this time around to see if we can't get a better spin for the uh, the acting pool. There's quite a few people love being in lots of shows. Right. This will give them the opportunity, if they're doing a show in another city, then to come up here and be able to do a, uh -huh. a show. So we share an acting pool, uh, which we're grateful for, too, uh, from, from all over the area. They'll come as far as Topeka, Kansas City, and then quite often... If they're outside of the Atchison area, then they're from Leavenworth or St. Joe. That's that's uh -huh. kind of the primary areas. I know when you did um, uh, La Mis. Yes, you had some, we some did. Very, well, that was amazing. We did, you and they came from St. Joe. They came Joe. from Leavenworth. They came from Kansas City. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, all of them. They were great. And so we're looking forward to Fiddler. I think it'll be another strong showing for us in October. And we where will, are you going to have it? That particular show will be at Theater Atchison. Okay. Uh, the co-production is with Benedictine College, so we'll get to see some of their talent. And they've got a, a budding uh, group of, of young actor and actresses as well. And so it's going to be great to have them a part of that, too. Then we'll also go in December, like we've been doing with a Christmas show, and this particular one is um, a Christmas Carol. So uh, Charles perfect. Dickens' A Christmas Carol, uh -huh. and the old tradition. I'm not certain if we've ever outright done that production. I know we had a, a touring production of it one time, but I don't believe our company in 31 years has ever done it. So wow. this will be kind of a first for us. We're looking forward to that. Now, is that going to be at Theater Atchison? That will be at Theater Atchison, too. Yep, all of these shows are, which is going to be nice. Uh -huh. It'll be great, too, um, when I step back for that Fiddler on the Roof show, having that as a co-production brings a lot of those college students down into town which is a nice intro integration into town mm -hmm. and it gives them an opportunity mm -hmm. to find out where our theater is at and so uh, we've been seeing a nice influx in the student population student ticket sales are on the rise and, and i know, think the kids get out and do a lot more so. that's what i love about you travis is that you um you've historically put uh, mar hill the atchison high school benedictine um, I've seen some kids from Effingham. You incorporate the whole community on how can we all work together. Absolutely. And, and that's what a lot of this show is about. Yeah. It consistently is all the people that figure out ways to pull together. It just makes the wagon that much lighter. You're right. And, you know, honestly, on that very note and in community speaking, I can't tell you how many people I have heard from out of town that say that 
Atchison is one of those places that is so lucky because we all work together. From our city to our school district to our chamber of commerce, we're all in it together and we all act mm -hmm. together. And it, it is wonderful. It makes it, You're right. It makes it so much easier to do all the heavy lifting that we have to do. So and, it works great. We're not a wealthy community and, and we've got a lot of blue collar jobs here. Yep. And, but yep. we figure out ways to... Make the theater work, Absolutely. make our arts work. Yep. You know, Deborah Geiger's doing a fantastic job. It's remarkable the size of the town we have of 10,000, uh -huh. just a few over 10,000 people. Right. What we do have to offer. Uh -huh. I mean, I tell people all the time to have a, a, a full time, we have two full time plus a one full time part time person in our office there's three of us there all the time then we have 25 part-timers throughout the course of the year that come and help us with our wow. productions to have that in a town of 10,000 people is just it's, unheard it's, of it's, it's amazing it is amazing and so i mean it's a great testament to this town uh, we can always use the support i don't want people thinking oh they're doing great they don't need my help mm -hmm. we certainly need your help we and always be able to need help make the quality better and, and grow the programming we need we need your help so well, we'd love to have speaking of them. programming yeah the educational director tell yeah. me what tell me who that is and what's going on there. absolutely corbin Hernandez. Hernandez comes to our staff, and he did just this last August, so he hasn't quite been there a year yet. Uh, he's a young man. There's a BC graduate. I had the uh, privilege of teaching him. I teach classes up there, so he's one of my students for a while. We had pulled him into several shows we've done uh, to help us either build shows or act on stage when we needed his help. Uh, he, he moved away from the community, got married, went to Savannah, Georgia, and worked in their children's theater, Savannah, Georgia, uh, young players or Savannah, Georgia, Young People's Theater, something like mm -hmm. that. Um, anyway, and, and then he wanted to come back home. He and his wife were, were going to start a family. They wanted to be closer to home to do it. So we started looking in this area. His wife is from Omaha. He's from Olathe. And turns out he and I went to the same high school. Wow. Although we were a generation apart-ish, you know, uh -huh. a couple of a decade or so there apart, um, went to the same high school. And, and so he wanted to come back to Atchison. And when he found out I had an opening, he called and I brought him right in and we got to talking about it. His energy is infectious, which I love. And uh, he, he's, he's just always willing to do whatever it's going to take to get the job done. So he's, he was a great fit for us. Now, with the educational program, will he handle a lot of the summer stage that you're doing with the youth? Right. Is that yep. He does have uh, some facets of his job are administrative, so he'll oversee some of the who gets hired to help out with the uh, the assistant director positions. But of the four kids shows we do in a year, um, actually we do a five. We do a fifth touring production. Um, he will direct three of those. The high school has been historically directed by Noelle Walters, who will mm -hmm. continue to do that. We're grateful and glad to have her on board still. And then he'll be her assistant. But then he'll take, he takes the other four, the three uh, mainstay shows for his youth season, plus the touring production, and he directs all of those. Now, the touring production. Yes. Where, do you, where all do you go? I did... I, I wasn't familiar That's with that. That's okay. I thought I knew everything about the Well, theater. we keep it in town, and uh -huh. it's been nice. The last few years, for us, it's an opportunity to take a show to the to the elementary schools. So uh -huh. we go to Trinity, okay. we go to St. Benedict's, and we go to the Atchison Elementary School in one day, and we'll do four performances. We, we split up the Atchison Elementary School because uh -huh. there's so many kiddo, right, so kiddos many. up there, uh -huh. yeah. That is more or less an opportunity for kids to see other kids act. So they get this great opportunity. One, they get the theater arts opportunity, you know, right. be become uh -huh. affected by that in a, in a positive way. Two, they get to see kiddos act on stage, and then they think, maybe I want to do that. And then ideally, they come and sign up for summer stage. And then three, it's usually a moral-based message. So last year, for example, we did um, recycling was the message, and uh, the city of Atchison and also the Atchison County pitched in money to help produce that. Um, this year, we, we were uh, bullying was our, our, our topic of conversation, uh -huh. so we wrote a play about bullying and uh, took that around to kind of help curb some of those bad situations that are going on in schools. So that's our impetus, that every every time we get into this, we do some sort of moral base. Kids can learn from it, but we do it in a happy way and a fun way and for them to get excited about it. And it's kids performing for kids. You got it. And they come from I all love that, We get Travis. kiddos that'll come from uh, St. Benedict's and also Atchison Elementary School uh -huh. and some homeschool students. So we'll have as many as 10 of them involved in that, and uh, we put it together. We rehearse, rehearse it in four or five weeks. We tech it, and then we tour it. Now, that's not in the summertime, though, because no, you're, you're, right. you're performing at the elementary school. You're schools. right. We just did do that. It happens the first uh, about the first weekend in May. It's usually the first Friday in, in May is when we get that out and around. 
their schools are kind of winding down. The the curriculum starting to slow up sure. a bit, and they have time in their schedule to get us it's in. It's always the field trips. Exactly. And the end of the year. Exactly. Stuff, you're exactly right. Yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. a teacher at one yeah. point in time, so Great. I understand that. Yeah, Travis, I want my season tickets. I always buy my season yes. tickets from We're you. We're glad to have it. And when that's going to be, that's coming up. It so is. That's how right. do people get their season tickets? It's a great question. You can uh, come by the theater. We're at 401 Santa Fe, and uh, as always, our office is in the basement of uh, what is known as the Presbyterian Community Center, but it's been our home for 31 years ever mm -hmm. since we started the company. And we share the parking lot with the Presbyterian Church. Has it been 31 years? 31 years. We're finishing up our 31st season. Isn't wow. that amazing? Yeah. Wow. So we're excited about that. We'll start, we'll kick our 32nd year off. And, uh, and to finish that season up, I mentioned we open with Fiddler on the Roof. We'll do the Christmas Carol. Then we've got a funny comedy up in March of 2016. That was The Butler Did It. And then we end the season with Brighton Beach Memoirs, which was the other Neil Simon uh -huh. show I was talking about e earlier. So we've got some great uh, comedies coming up, some good memorable shows. And, and it'll be a four-show season instead of the five-show like we normally did because we're noticing a lot of people don't get out during February both actors and audiences so it's been hard to get them cast the and then the weather nice. this year we we had two almost snow performances mm -hmm. um we had snow but i almost had to cancel them because of that we didn't have to thankfully but the audiences are just a bit smaller so maybe to kind of rein in some of the expenses we're not going to jump in with that fifth production mm -hmm. try to do something a little different well this and year. it gives you a lot more focus on the four that you're doing absolutely too, you think and so? it is and it gives us an opportunity to do another exciting thing we're going to have a 10-minute play festival for the high schools oh, so area high that schools. Is. Well, that's coming up in January 2016. Both the Atchison Element, excuse me, Atchison High, the Atchison County High School, Mar Hill, uh, Riverside High School, Donovan West High School, and Troy High School mm -hmm. will all take part in writing a 10-minute play. They bring that play to Theater Atchison, and one evening they'll perform it for the audience. We'll have judges that are brought in from Kansas City that will actually do the judging on best ensemble, best play written, uh, best actor, best actress, things like that. And the winning school will be given a small stipend, a winning stipend of, say, 250 bucks, and then mm -hmm. they can use that in their school. Then we can also give them uh, some opportunities to rent costumes for free because we do a lot of costume rental, as you know, down there oh, at Theater yes. Atchison. You've been so gracious yeah. with us yeah. with the movie that Tom That's Pike right. is making. That's right. Footprints. Uh, yeah, it's, footprints. It's moving along finally, too. It, That's it great. Is. Yeah. It is. It's still, I think Tom gets very um, optimistic on how fast he can get it done and and I'm probably a little bit more realistic. More I, realistic, yeah. Yet, I yeah. think he's he's thinking we'll get it done in 15, and I think we're going to be into 16. Yeah. It, it's yeah. been a few years. We've, we've had our finger on that button for a while, mm -hmm. haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and it just takes time. It, it does. It's a lot of work. It and a, as you well People know. are busy. People well, are busy. All right, now, season tickets are such a deal. Yes. How much are they? Well, that's a good question. This year, and as ha in the past, they've been fifty dollars. They're still fifty dollars. Now you mm -hmm. think to yourself, wait a minute. Now we had five shows for fifty. Now it's five shows for um, or, or four, four shows, shows uh -huh. for fifty. We're going to throw in a couple of youth tickets as well. So every okay. season ticket you buy, you'll have two tickets that you can come to a youth show. You or you can send kiddos. You've got a grandson, you've got a daughter, son, whatever. Mm -hmm you can send them over on those tickets or yourself come. We've, we're finding out that we have a lot of uh, patrons that enjoy the kids shows as well. So they don't, they can't use those, their season tickets for that oh. doesn't cover it. Uh -huh. well, this will give uh -huh. them a few tickets to come see one of those. And those are in the summer Not right. always. We have one in the spring, one in the fall. Okay. Then we have the two in the summer. Okay. Of course, the, uh, the the touring show doesn't have ticket sales to it because we're out on the road. Oh, so. th I think that's a great plan. So for only fifty dollars, right? And and I'll tell you guys, if you haven't been to a theater Atchison show, you are missing the boat. I think all of my friends and I go to just about everything that you guys do. Well, thank there. you for that. And it's amazing, just yeah. amazing, the talent that is here in our community. You know, you don't have to drive to Kansas City, and you don't have to fly to New York. That's right. You can be here in Atchison, Absolutely. Kansas, and appreciate the theater. You bet, you bet. So, all right, um, tell me your telephone number one more time, yep. and it can... Can people put it on their credit cards? That's can a great question that? too. Yes, we can. You can pay over the phone if you'd like, and we and we kind of prefer it. We can take care of it that way, make it easy for you and easy for us. You can call our box office line, which is three six seven show, and that's three six seven seven four six nine. Or if you'd like to call our our box off, or excuse me, our office business office, it's three six seven one six four seven. 
But I like that 367 show. Everybody can remember that. that. When I first came back here, people would only say four numbers, I still right? do that. Yeah, <laughs> I still do that. 1647. And they yeah. go, is that 367? Back in a simpler time. That's right. Back right? in a simpler time. Exactly. Travis, I am so excited about what you're doing. And I really want to meet um, Corbin. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I got to, to have him in here talking about the education That program. would be great. Um, I'm, I'm such a big supporter of everything you do. And um, if you can have Corbin come back in here sure, and tell me about love the it. education He'd love to. programs. Absolutely. When, when, because summer is here. Yep, it's right around the corner. It's right around the corner, yep. and we need to get him in here to talk about oh, that. love it. And you'll come back and see me again. Absolutely, anytime and you want. All my listeners, get those season tickets. Give us that number one more time. You bet. It's, uh, it's 367. <laughs> Show. <laughs> Show. At 7469. Or you can call our box out, or our main line at 367-1647. Travis, always my pleasure. My pleasure to be here. Thank you, Luis. And remember, call me for everything real estate. 367-3116. <laughs>